Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, hit like, all of that good stuff. So a prediction for Tim Zhu versus Jeff Horn. This fight is a super welterweight clash and it goes down on the 26th of August and it goes down at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. This is a big fight down under and one I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Really interesting fight between these two. Um, we will start with the tail of the tape. We shall start with Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu has a record of 15 wins, 0 defeats, 11 of those 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Jeff Horn has a record of 20 wins, 2 defeats, 1 draw, 13 of those 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Tim Zhu is listed as 5 foot 8 and a half with a 72 inch reach, whereas Jeff Horn is listed as 5 foot 9 with a 68 inch reach. So Tim Zhu does have a 4 inch reach advantage according to the statistics. But Jeff Horn does have a half inch height advantage. In terms of the ages, Tim Zhu is 25 years old, Jeff Horn is 32 years old, and both of these guys are orthodox fighters. Now, from that tail of the tape, in terms of experience, obviously Jeff Horn is far more experienced than Tim Zhu. Not only has he had more fights, he was also a fairly decorated amateur. He fought in the Olympics, and as a pro, He's fought the much higher level of competition. Obviously, he's fought Terence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao, you know, most notably. But even guys like Michael Zarafa are better than anybody on Tim Zhu's resume. So, in terms of experience, Jeff Horn really does have this nailed down. But obviously, Tim Zhu goes in there with the advantage of youth. And he is certainly the fresher of the two. So, will Jeff Horn's experience count? Or will Tim Zhu's youth and ambition see him win the day? In terms of that... You know, in terms of the experience and the youth, it's interesting because this fight is a 10-rounder from what I see. And from what I read, the person who requested a 10-rounder wasn't the young, inexperienced pro in Tim's U. It was actually Jeff Horn. Now, that was interesting to me. You know, Jeff Horn, in his career, I'm sure he's made a fair bit of money now. Obviously, he had those fights with Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford. He would have got paid well in those fights. And even in those big fights in Australia against the likes of Anthony Mundine and Michael Zarafa, I'm sure he got paid fairly well. So what is Jeff Horn's hunger like right now? You know, if I'm Jeff Horn, an experienced, tough, durable guy, I would want a 12-rounder against someone like Tim Zhu. I would want to bring this young guy into deep waters and try to drown him. I find it very peculiar that Jeff Horn was the one who requested this be a 10-rounder. Tim Zhu actually said, I want a 12-rounder. But, you know, as per request of Jeff Horn, this fight is a 10-rounder. That is interesting to me. Does that signal that Jeff Horn is on his last legs and he's really on the way out? Does it signal that his ambition is not what it once was a few years ago? I found that really interesting. Like I said, if I'm the experienced pro who's been in there with Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford, etc. And I'm fighting this young up-and-coming prospect who's really not been tested, I would want this to be a 12-rounder. I really would. I find that very interesting that it's not. And it was Jeff Horn who requested that. I find that very interesting. So in terms of motivation, I've got a few question marks there over Jeff Horn. And um, stylistically, this fight is interesting. Obviously, Jeff Horn, as we know, he's like a rough and tumble fighter. He likes to come forwards, get up close. He's not scared to get a bit dirty using heads elbows, shoulders, etc. He'll get up close, work the body, and basically try to drag you into a dogfight. That is what Jeff Horn's style is. Jeff Horn can box a bit, you know, he was a good amateur. He does have a half-decent jab when he uses it, but ultimately he's, he's a brawler, you know. He's a swarmer, I guess. That's what Jeff Horn is. So in this fight, against the young, inexperienced boxer, a boxer who likes to keep time and space like Tim Zhu does, Jeff Horn needs to close that gap real quick, and he can't let Tim Zhu get get a respite in this fight. He can't let Tim Zhu dictate the pace of this fight with his jab and uh, straight punches, because as we know, Tim Zhu does have a longer reach, and that's how he fights, you know? He likes to fight behind that jab and search for that right hand behind it, kind of like his dad. So in this fight, Jeff Horn really needs to make sure he doesn't give Tim Zhu that space. And essentially, he needs to revert to type 
get up close and make it a rough, tough affair. That's what he needs to do. I don't think it's going to be a great strategy to box with Tim Zhu. While I appreciate Tim Zhu's boxing skills haven't been proven at a high level, why give him the chance to actually have space? Just make it rough, tough and try to outwork Tim Zhu on the inside. I've not really been all that impressed with Tim Zhu on the inside, to be honest. I think that's a weak area of his game. He can hold and he can throw back on the inside, but he's really not all that comfortable up close. That's not really his style. So if I'm Jeff Horn, I try to, I, I try to take this fight on the inside. I think it's pretty obvious what Jeff Horn needs to do here. He needs to pressure this young man and make him realise there's levels to this. You know, he needs to catch him early. He needs to hurt him early and really put him in his place. You know, he needs to make it rough, tough and violent. You know, he fought that sort of fight against Michael Zarafa, and in those fights, yeah, Jeff Horn got knocked out in the first fight, and he just about won the second fight, and he had problems in that fight by brawling, but, you know, Michael Zarafa's much more adept to that style than Tim Zhu is, so I think he can get away with that style a lot more against Tim, to be honest. I think he can. So yeah, for me, Jeff Horn needs to revert to type, do what he does best, come in, quick feet, get on the inside, work, 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 work and either try to outwork Tim Zhu, or maybe even stop him late on. That's what Jeff Horn needs to do, in my opinion. Like I said, boxing with Tim Zhu, not sure that's the wisest strategy, to be honest. Again, like I said, Tim's boxing hasn't really been proven at a high level, but why give him the chance to dictate with that jab? Why give him chance to have space to land that right hand? Because, listen, Tim's right hand does carry some sort of power, and to me... Above welterweight, Jeff Horn's durability is nowhere near as impressive, so I wouldn't be shocked to see Jeff Horn get hurt by that straight right hand of Tim Zhu. So I try to take it away. You know, Tim Zhu needs leverage in his power shots. Take it away by getting up close. As for Tim Zhu, obviously it's apparent. Do the opposite of what I told Je uh, Jeff Horn. Keep it on the outside. Get behind that jab. Be consistent with the jab. You know, stick it from body to head, body to head, with power, and tame the older Jeff Horn. You know, try to stop him coming forwards and getting in on you. Maintain range, maintain range, you know, pop, pop, jab, and um, look for that right hand down the middle. And also try to throw a few feints in there. Try to get Jeff Horn to bite on those feints, and then counter Jeff Horn with that straight right hand. You know, feint, half step back, come through the middle with that straight right, and catch... Uh, catch Jeff Horn coming in, I think Jeff Horn is susceptible to that straight right hand, you know, because Jeff Horn's a guy who kind of comes in with reckless abandonment, and he really pays little attention to defence, he doesn't really jab his way in, so those straight shots, those straight rights for Tim Zhu, I think will be there in this fight, but he needs to take those opportunities. Sometimes young fighters, when they take a big step up like this, they get stage right, and they don't throw their punches, Tim Zhu needs to be um, ambitious with his work early on. He needs to take the initiative and don't let the experienced older man kind of con you out of a fight and old man you. He needs to put the old man Jeff Horn in his place, land a couple of good solid right hands early on and make Jeff Horn realise, yo, you're too old for this shit now. You're too old, it's my time. That's what Tim Zhu needs to do. Keep it at range, work behind that jab and look for any opportunities to land that straight right hand, and if and if Jeff Horn is being more conservative, you know, then try to add feints into your game, get get Jeff Horn to bite on those feints, and then try to counter from there. But yeah, interesting stylistic clash for me, um, a brawler versus a boxer puncher, interesting fight. I am actually picking Tim Zhu to win this fight. Um, when I think about this fight, I think a knockout for Tim Zhu, while it's possible. I don't think it's the most likely scenario for him to win this fight. So, me personally, I'm going with a messy points decision for Tim Zhu. I think it's going to be scrappy at times. It might be close in a few rounds. But ultimately, I think the punches of quality will come from Tim Zhu. I think it's going to be a lot more apparent when Tim lands clean in comparison to when Jeff Horn lands. I think it's going to be very, very, very clear who lands for more quality shots. And yeah, I see I see him winning this fight. I see him winning this fight. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if it's similar to Je uh, Sean Porter versus Kell Brook. You know, a lot of mangling, mangling on the inside, a lot of holding, a lot of mauling. But when it's on the outside, I could see Tim picking Jeff off with a jab 
and coming through the middle with that straight right, you know, picking up points. So yeah, I've got uh, Tim Zhu in a competitive points win, um, but it's a good fight. I can certainly see why people are picking Jeff Horn in this fight. A lot of people really aren't high on Tim Zhu. I'm not all that high on Tim, but I think he's improved since his pro debut. I think Jeff Horn's on the way out. And I think it's very telling that Jeff Horn was the one who requested this to be a 10-rounder rather than a 12-rounder. I think that's very telling. I'm not sure how long Jeff's got left. I don't think, uh, to be honest, I don't think he has got long left. So I'm going with the younger man here, uh, Tim Zhu, on points in a pretty competitive fight. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Peace.